Hey everybody, I got a new planner and this was really out of the blue for me. And so I just kind of wanted to chat about it and kind of talk about how I'm gonna use this thing. It is a Jibun Techo and I currently have it in this wide size traveler's notebook. This is a, it's from the beautiful branding line from Chic Sparrow and it's an Outlander Claire. So it's got the W on there and this is deluxe. So it has the pockets and new pen loop and all that goodness. And I, I don't really show this traveler's notebook because it's, uh, it, it contains a lot of personal information and, um, stuff about a medical condition from someone in my life. That's what this band is. It's for transverse myelitis. And this is kind of where I keep all of that stuff. So I used to just dip in and out of this traveler's notebook just randomly. Like whenever we had an appointment pertaining to transverse myelitis, I would log it in one of these uh, notebook inserts that I have. These are just, there's three Moleskine Kaye notebooks in here and they each have a Chic Sparrow wide size dashboard around them. And then on the first string, I have the Jibun Techo and it sticks out a little bit further than your traditional wide size inserts do. But if I didn't have this many in here, the Techo would actually sit in all the way, but I I don't mind a little bit of overhang like that. I actually prefer it, and so I'm just leaving it as is. And when I decided that I was gonna probably need a planner to put in here, I I pretty much just I didn't want to tear apart this whole system that I have going on. I didn't want to switch sizes or do anything like that. So I was trying to figure out if there was something available that would fit in here. And I never really looked at the Jibun Techos very closely because I just never had a need for them and I have other planners that I like using. And so kind of in the back of my mind, I felt like the Jibun Techos had really odd sizes and so they do have a B6 slim and this is the A5 slim which kind of just translate translates in my mind to the wide size that Chic Sparrow carries. So that worked out great and this just happens to have the layouts that I was looking for and it, it's actually so perfect that it was a little bit weird. Um, but I will link down below Amy Graham from Badass Valkyrie. She actually recently posted a very detailed flip through and comparison between the B6 size of this and this A5 or the B6 slim and then this A5 slim. So if you want a really detailed flip through of all the pages in here, um, just head over there because that was really good and full of tons of information. I'm just gonna kind of talk about what I'm planning to use this for because I'm really, really excited because as I said, I wasn't really in this system on a daily basis and I'm actually going to have to start being in here on the daily and multiple times a day, basically using this Jibun Techo. So one of the things that I saw, cause I bought this from Jet Pens and I just literally picked the cheapest one they had. It the prices vary depending on the color and kind of cover that you got. And I really just wanted the guts, but they were sold out of those. So I picked this one and it was just the gray fabric cover and whatever, I don't care. Um, I like gray anyway, so it was no big deal to me. So I noticed on the photos on their website that there are a lot of these grid pages that are meant for specific lists, like this says recommendation list, but I never really use these pages in my Japanese planners like you're supposed to. So I thought it looked like it had enough of these grid pages that I could use this to do my graphs because what I wanted to do is uh, the person that this is for, I'm pretty much the main caretaker for 
all of their needs. They are going to be starting a new medication therapy. So I wanted to have some graph paper where I could make a graph per month to kind of track things, you know, like side effects and effectiveness, yada, yada. So I thought I could utilize these grid pages that way. And as I was flipping through this, I ended up getting to these pages. And I don't know how I missed that these are in here. I just don't pay attention well enough, I suppose. But this was kind of strange because this is exactly what I had in my mind. So the it's already labeled for every month and color color coded and it has the the numbers across the top plus the days of the week. And then it has two margins on the side so I can kind of track two different things and have two different lines graphed on here. And that's that's so crazy. So I saw this and I kind of caught my breath and I was like, what, what is, how is this in here? And is it for every single month? And it totally is. So like, never mind about the other grid pages. I'm totally gonna be using these layouts for that because it, it could not be more perfect. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with this. And I'm so happy that it's here because I don't really have to design it and kind of set it up. I can just fill in, which is gonna be so, so helpful. And then as far as the months, I just have a sticky note here covering up some stuff because I've already started making notes for October. This starts November and then so do the weekly pages. Okay, so here are the, this is the start of the weekly pages and it starts October the 29th. And actually October the 29th is exactly when we're gonna be starting the new therapy. So that was really, really crazy. So, what I'm planning to do for the monthlies is any kind of appointments or anything relating to transverse myelitis, I'm going to document in here because this is going to be a central hub of information that anybody can access that needs to. So I want things to be really organized and really clear. I want people to be able to come in here and see when the appointments were, when any therapies were, and just things like that. So. Once something happens, then I will come in here and document it on the day that it happened, probably along with the time, and uh, that's how I'll be using, that's how I'm going to start using this monthly section. I'm sure I'll tweak things and add things as I really get into using this. And then for the weeklies, this, this was what I really wanted, and I've never really wanted a vertical layout. I love the Hobonichi Weeks, that's what I have right here. And I love the horizontal layout of the weeks. And the planners that I have that have this vertical layout also have the times included on the edges and the Jibun Techo is no different. And in the past, I've always just ignored those times and I will be fully utilizing the layout as is in here because the medication we're starting has to be very regimented and, you know, it just needs to be spaced out properly and all that kind of stuff. So this will be really helpful because I can just write in on the corresponding time when the medication was administered. And then, you know, I can make a little note of anything but really at the bottom here that's untimed this section at the end of each day i'm thinking i will just jot down my thoughts any notes things of concern and just anything noteworthy any questions i have blah 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 and just kind of put that down at the bottom and so this is going to be so, so helpful to me. And I'm glad I don't have to do any work setting it up. I can just kind of dive in here and use this. And I thought that was all I needed. And I thought that was gonna be good enough. I was really happy with this. And as I was flipping through the pages in the back, I noticed this spread. 
so it just says looking back on 2019 and it has the months down this side with some grid space to kind of write whatever you want maybe a summary of that month or something so that's what I'm gonna do uh, at the end of every month I think it would be great to come in here and just write out a more general summary of how I felt that month went and you know how that person felt that it went and just uh, just a nice overview and this page is exactly the same so there's plenty of space to do that and I think this will be helpful to kind of reference all in one and have everything on one spread that you can kind of compare and contrast at a glance. So I'm so excited about this. I have all of the pockets filled up with business cards and appointment cards and stuff like that for easy reference for everybody. And I am so excited to have this. And I never thought I would ever need something like this but as your needs change it's really awesome to look at all the different things that are available so this fits well in the system that I currently have and I will actually be starting this on Monday October 29th and um, yeah I think this is going to be really really helpful to me and if you or anybody you know uses a planner for anything medical related to keep track of things especially if it's a pretty medically involved condition uh, I would love to hear about it please leave a comment let me know what works for you especially if you're having to do something like track medications and dosages and timing and all of that stuff I'd love to hear your thoughts about it so that's it for now. I, I don't think I'll be sharing much more. I, well, I may give an update down the road or something to let you know how it's working for me. But in any case, I'm just really happy to get started and happy to have this. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I really love connecting with you guys. Thank you for being here. And I will see you again soon in my next video. Bye.